Hello, my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. Today is my Memorial Day, the first Sunday of every month. And we just had the most amazing memorial. We have 13 new brothers and sisters who were baptized today. They had to be rebaptized because a lot of them were raised in the Jehovah Witness organization. And when the way Jehovah's Witnesses go about the baptism, it's not correct. Because when you look at Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20, you'll notice that it says, So go and make followers of all people in the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have told you to do. You can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue to be with you until the end of time. There's no mention here about baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and mentioning an organization. We are not supposed to be getting baptized in the name of an organization. And when it comes to who qualifies to baptize a person, as long as the other person is baptized, they are qualified to baptize another person. That includes women baptizing men, men baptizing women. That's, that's, that's what that says. They're baptized Christians already. As long as you are baptized in the body of Christ, when it comes to the memorial and partaking of the emblems, as long as you are baptized in the body of Christ, we are told to continue doing this until Jesus Christ returns. Now with the organization, they have these people rejecting Jesus ransom sacrifice, which is just another uh, reason why I know that they are not the faithful and discreet slave. When you're in this organization, they don't teach you to really have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ because this organization, they don't focus on Jesus and they don't talk about him very much. But anyway, I am so happy that Jesus Christ pulled me out of the darkness and into the light. And it is wonderful. Today, we have 13 new brothers and sisters who are part of the body of Christ, people who are working diligently to live a Christian and godly lifestyle. And what Jehovah's Witnesses need to do, they need to do their research on what does the 144,000 really mean in the scriptures. And the things they're going to learn and find out is going to blow them away. Again, do your own research, sweetheart. Don't let these Jehovah's Witness elders and governing body indoctrinate you with their interpretation. Do your research.